Hey everyone, welcome to 360 Nails TV. If you enjoy this video, be sure that you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe for two videos every week. Let's get started. So I've got a fun nail haul to show you. And the first item I'll be showing you, it's a, not nail polish, but I figured I'd put it in here anyway. It's a Puine nail stamping plate and it has a ton of cute designs. And this is the Queen Fairy Tale Lover 01. So this is so cute. I can't wait to try it out. And I'm going to show you the rest of the nail polish now. Okay, so next I've got a polish that I'm so happy I finally received. It's Nothing Better from Cupcake Polish. And I'm kind of disappointed because this took about two weeks to get to me. But I'm so happy it's finally here. And it's this really pretty nut, chocolatey, just brown color. And I really wanted it for fall because I adore wearing holographics in the summer and this is just so perfect for fall. I can't wait to wear this. Next I've got two Color Club polishes that I picked up from TJ Maxx and they are only two dollars there so that's pretty amazing. This one is called this one is called Peace Love and Polish and it's this beautiful pink with a bright yellow gold shimmer and this is like pink lemonade in a bottle and actually wearing that color on my nails, if you can see. And it's one of my new favorite polishes. It's so, so pretty. This next one is Girl, and this is a really, really cute unicorn-themed glitter topper, and I adore unicorns, so I had to get it. And it has some hollow glitter and some pink hexagon glitter, and the base is pretty clear. It's a little bit tinted, maybe if the glitter's bled, but they have this really cute, if you can see, unicorn-shaped glitter, and it's just really, really cute. Next up is a China Glaze, and this is called You're Too Sweet, and this is a, I would call it a topper because it's kind of sheer on its own, but this is a kind of rosy, dusty, pink holographic polish with lots of, you can see, holographic glitter, and it's basically micro glitter, and there's some pink in there too, and it's really pretty. I think I'd like to try this over black or white. I think that would be really pretty. Next is a gorgeous polish by Julie G, and this is my first Julie G polish. As you can see, it's a really pretty cerulean, kind of bright, oceany blue, and it's called Kickin' It. And I know I'm definitely going to be wearing this one all next summer. And it's really, it's very bright, and it just has a nice formula. It's about three coats, but maybe if it thickens up over time, it'll be a two-coater. Very pretty. This next one, I don't really have a clue what it's called because it doesn't have a label but it's shaped like a pumpkin and it has a little jack-o'-lantern face on it. I found this at Rite Aid, so if you know what this polish is called or what brand it came from, then let me know in the comments. But this is, it looks like a black and orange confetti bar glitter topper, maybe? I haven't tried it yet, but I may try it with some Halloween nail art soon. I really like the jack-o'-lantern face. I think it's mostly a cute um, Halloween decoration, so I'll have to display it somewhere. The final item I want to show you is from Mary Kay, and this is their Satin Hands Hand Cream, and this is not a nail polish, obviously, but I wanted to throw it in here because it's my new all-time favorite hand cream. I actually got this in September as a gift, but I didn't use it yet because it wasn't really cold out, and my hands get kind of dry, as most people's do, in the cold, so... I tried this out recently and it's amazing. It's really nice. It's nice and hydrating and it makes your, your skin really soft and I really like it. I highly recommend you check this out. And that's it for my nail polish haul. Comment below which one was your favorite and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!